Hi guys, so today we're gonna to talk about another very important topic, and that's how to hire the best HR manager for your company. Now, before I get into this, I gotta do an intro because a lot of you are new to the channel and wanna know who I am. So let me tell you about myself quickly, 20 seconds. I'm Dimitri Nolman. I run New Config, which is an IT search firm, executive staffing agency, financial headhunting firm. We staff CTOs, CIOs, IT directors, VP of IT, chief financial officer. That is what we do. We all staff operations manager, manufacturing people. I've been running New Config since I started in 2012 out of my apartment. Now we are a $1.5 million organization. I have 10 people working for me. There's 11 of us in circa February of 2024. That's a little bit about myself. Let me tell you why I'm the best person or one of the best people to tell you about how to hire H HR managers. Why? Because I've been doing this for a very long time, since 2012, as I just mentioned to you. We have staffed HR managers managers for many years for many organizations this is what we do companies come to us and we help them and we've been very successful now let's go over what are the responsibilities of an HR manager some companies focus on one thing and the rest are uh, not as important or pluses other companies just want another thing but I'm gonna give you the general responsibilities if this was a job description of what an HR manager does an HR manager takes care and manages other HR generalists if it's a, a one person in organization they do everything from onboarding people offboarding people compliance recruiting working inside their hr system such as workday or peoplesoft or sap or another system that's what they do they have five or six responsibilities meeting with stakeholders figure out their uh, requirements for a job posting it posting the ad talking to candidates offboarding onboarding come up various things they need to make sure that the company is meeting with audits uh, in terms of hr going on training so that is all part of the job description those are all very important things in hr manager's role now what you need to think about is you're not gonna find someone that knows all of these perfectly, right? And if they did, they'd probably want a lot more money than they're offering. So you need to figure out what are your top three skills for this role and focus on those top three skills because people are human. They don't have everything that you want them to have. So I wouldn't recommend that you focus on all of the seven to 10 responsibilities I just mentioned. If you really want them to know Workday, focus on Workday as a requirement and managing people would be a third, second requirement and experience of Recruiting would be the third requirement. And then the other ones about compliance, offboarding, onboarding, and uh, procedures would be less important. Or it could be the vice. Those four are more important, and the, the first four I mentioned are less important. But you gotta figure out what is most important, put that on the top of your job description. So, what I'm really getting to is you gotta have a job description. After that, you need to have a salary that you're willing to pay. Salary is extremely important because people that you're just gonna be wasting your time spinning your wheels on uh, talking to people that are not willing to go work for the money you're offering. They wanna work for a lot more money. So you'll just be interviewing people that are not a fit. So you gotta figure out the most important responsibilities. To do that, you gotta meet with the stakeholders. Maybe you're the only decision maker, but if there's five or th uh, other decision makers, hopefully not, that's a lot of cooks making a pot of soup, but hopefully there's uh, one or two other decision makers, then you have your job description. If there's more decision makers or stakeholders, meet with them, figure out what are the most important things, figure out how much you're gonna pay them. Once you figure that out, then the plan is to go to market. And that is when you go out and you post the ad on Career Builder, Dice, Indeed, ZipRecruiter, LinkedIn. Those six platforms, we use them too, but we don't post. And New Config, we do search because posting is passive. Now, if you are looking to hire, you want to be passive and you want to be active. Well, many times, being passive doesn't work. You're expecting people to come to you. You want an active search, which is what New Config does, which we are a search firm. We go out and search for these people. Obviously, the results are going to be a hundred times better if you search for those people, but people don't have the budget to pay for a search firm or an executive search firm, staffing firm, headhunting agency like us. So they post. Now, once you post it, you wait a week and you see how many people have applied. If you have not gotten the people that you want, you have two options, the way I see it. The first option is you go out and you follow the steps in the previous video about getting a search firm such as New Config. In fact, you could call us here at New Config. We'll find you an HR manager. That's the first thing you could do. But we charge between 20 
10% to 25% of base salary. A lot of firms don't have that. Then, if you are not willing to pay how much uh, it would cost for us to staff the role, and by the way, the 25% is contingency. The 20% is retainer. So 25% it means the search is free. If we bring you 10 people, you don't hire any of them, guess what? You don't have to pay anything. The search is free. You only pay our fee if you hire, and that's net 30 after the person has been there for 30 days. But that's the most expensive option. But it's the fastest and the best service and the best results. You don't have to do that. You could do it yourself. That's the cheapest option. The cheapest option is get yourself in Dice, get yourself at least LinkedIn, which is gonna cost you about six to seven grand a year. Get yourself in D, which is gonna cost you about three and a half grand a year. But the problem with those uh, platforms is each of them only gives you 100 people to message a month. And so does LinkedIn and so does Indeed. So then you have to spend an extra two to three hundred dollars, except get another two to three hundred more contacts for each platform and they cost about three dollars per, per contact so on linkedin that's going to be another 300 times three another 900 same thing on indeed so they're 1800 dollars. So you're looking to spend per year another about 10 grand but for an extra month because you need at least about 400 to 800 contacts to be contacting them you need another 1800 dollars. so about eleven thousand dollars is going to cost you which is about half of what you're gonna be paying us. But it's gonna cost you a lot of time. You have to go out, you have to email them, you have to cold call them. You don't have their uh, phone number through LinkedIn or Indeed, but first you post. You post on those six platforms, or at least two or three of them. It shouldn't cost you that much. See the results. If you're not getting results, then you do the searches. You talk to the vendors Indeed and LinkedIn like I recommend. And then you put in a lot of time. You have to talk to them, it'll take you about a month. If you use the new config, probably half that probably two or three weeks but it takes two to tango I'm gonna, we're gonna send you candidates you gotta interview them so the average search does take about a month if you do it yourself it's gonna take you about a month to find them then you have to interview them and go through two or three rounds you have to have backups i recommend having at least 10 candidates in there because candidates drop out of the market come in the market they get other offers they have to move they get a raise they're not interested anymore so a lot of things could happen so i recommend getting at least 10 candidates in there i gave you a lot about how to find the best hr manager i hope this was helpful to you if you want to use our services if you need help finding an hr manager call us call new config my contact information is below my email is dnorman at newconfig.com our 1-800 number is 1-800-901-6526 Call us. It's on our website. You can go to our website, fill out a contact form. It's very easy to find us. We could give you more advice. We could do an intro call, give you advice, or we could actually do the search. And as I said, we could do contingency and that's free. Retainer is going to be cheaper, but you have to put some money down. A down payment and engagement search too is cheaper. I hope that was helpful. I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoy these videos. My goal is to help you, to add value. So stick around, watch more videos. Hope you enjoy me because I enjoy you watching. Take care and yeah, uh, stay tuned for the next video.